Hey, Speed Demons, let's look at how to print your PowerPoint notes to get you out of the office and get you to happy hour. Now, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to do that with a thumbnail image up top and your notes down below so that you can practice before your presentation, as well as how to do it with these thumbnail images and some blank empty lines so that your audience can take notes throughout your presentation. Now, special note, notice that I have my logo up top and I have my web address down below and my contact information. Now, those, these aren't mandatory fields. I highly recommend putting these either on your handouts before or after your presentation so that someone knows how to get in touch with you after the fact, which can help drive more leads and drive more business. Now, if you're just looking at making notes like this without a thumbnail image, I highly recommend not using the notes or handout master. Instead, I recommend using the create handouts feature, which not a lot of people know about a little trick between the outline view and word and PowerPoint to make those types of handouts, which I'll show you how to do in my other YouTube video. In this video, we're just gonna do this entirely here in Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm gonna make a special point about these content placeholders and how you can actually format these to keep everybody on the same page. Now, your first little PowerPoint trick is the Control Shift H with your notes. Control Shift H will pop open or pop close your notes. Now, you can click and drag and open this with your mouse if you want, but if you go back and forth between your, your image of your slide and your notes a lot, I recommend opening it about halfway here on your slide that way you can edit your notes when you want and then control shift H will let you edit your slide. Now, once your notes are open, you can click between your other slides. And you can see all the other notes that you have set up, including this bullet spacing, which I'll get to in a second when we talk about using these list levels in your content placeholders. All right. But that's your notes. Once you have your notes all set up, just hit control P on your keyboard to print them. You want to open up the print layout dropdown. And here you have your two different options. You have your notes page, which is going to be your thumbnail image, then your notes down below. And again, notice that I have my logo and my content contact information in comparison to if I'm printing notes that somebody can type with, all right, notice that I don't have that information here at the top and I don't have it at the bottom. So in my mind, this is for when you're just printing this for yourself. You don't need your own logo. You don't need your own contact information for yourself. But if you're distributing this to anybody, either before, after, or at any time for your presentation, I recommend going the extra mile, putting your logo, putting your contact information, which is super easy to do. And let me just show you how to do that. From this view, just hit escape. You want to come to the view tab. First off, let's start at the notes master because I already have that set up. All right, this is just my logo that I inserted as a normal picture. You could throw in really any design element you want. Maybe you have a slogan. So maybe this is my, my happy hour slogan, which we're trying to get you to. And then for my contact information, all I've done is use the header and footer dialog box. So you can get to the header footer dialog box, either hitting the insert tab header for a dialog box, or if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that you can hit alt shift D on your keyboard. It's going to open that header footer dialog box. Now, right at the top, notice that I'm in the notes and handouts, header and footers, which is different than these slide headers and footers. So this is where your page numbers and all that kind of stuff for your PowerPoint slides comes in handy, which is a total pain. You can check out my other video. If you, you need help with that here on the notes and handout, I've just selected my header and my footer. I've typed my email address and my web address. All right, apply to all. And then I've just formatted those myself down at the bottom of my slide. All right, so this is the notes view with a thumbnail and the notes down below. And again, I don't recommend, some people will tell you to delete that and then to stretch your notes up. I don't recommend doing that. If you want just your notes only, check out my other video here on YouTube. It's much better, much better format for you. Now to go see the other handouts, you can come to the view tab come to the handout master. Again, some masters that not a lot of people make it to and yours might not start on this line handout. So you just need to come up here to slides per page, select the different outline views you want. Now the three slides is not going to make it look like there is no lines here on your slide master. And in fact they are. So just don't get wigged out by that. So here I have my logo. You can just insert that as you normally would. Here is that footer. I will put that on the left and here is my contact information on the right. And again, you can add anything else, lines, text boxes, slogans, whatever you need to do to personalize this so that someone can get in contact with you. Now, one other quick note, if we just quickly go back to the, the notes master. All right. If I just zoom in here really quick. Now this is a content placeholder, just like it is on your slide master. So you can add bullet points, you can format the text, and then you can use your list level shortcuts or the command up top to um, format these so that everybody's on the same page. But the point I want to make here when you're formatting this for your notes master, notice that I have this, you know, Kessel, all right. This is the, the font format we often use. I have it is the Kessel formatting. I have it blue and I have it the bullet point and I've changed the size of it. All right. Notice that, that not all of this formatting is going to carry over. Cause if I just go back to the normal view, all right, I've formatted, I'm going to control shift H to open my notes. This is that 
list five level formatting that I've used by clicking up and down with these. So I've clicked forward all the way to that list level view or that fifth level list level view, which if you need help with that, check out my other video on YouTube about content container abuse. It doesn't show up here. I only get the bullet point. But when I hit Control-P to print, notice that I do get that blue Kessel formatting with the size reshape. And you can see there's my little happy hour slogan down below. So just note that if you're setting that content placeholder on your notes master, that it's going to show up as you print it. But if you just look at your notes view down here, it's not going to show up. And if I hit Alt-Shift-F5 for presenter view, you can see that it's also just going to come over here as the notes with the bullet points. So the bullet points are going to carry over, but it's not going to do it. And the keyboard shortcut for that is just Alt-Shift-F5, which again, you can see in my other video here on YouTube. Once you have everything set up, again, just hit Control-P for print. You're gonna come and either print your notes, pages, or your slide handouts, and there you can see all of the information as I just have it set up. And then just to pull the trigger, just click print. So that's how to print your notes in PowerPoint in one of these two views. And if you learned something new, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up here on YouTube, as that's the only way I know what kind of content you guys wanna see in the future. Now, if you're new to my channel and wanna keep up to date on my PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips and tricks to get you to happy hour, just look for the subscribe button down below. Or if you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets of the best shortcuts, mini series and all that jazz that can save you 40 hours, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.